Within IAZ, as educators, we look to try and develop people's understanding and awareness of delivering information in various different ways to our learners. We look at the approach of how we can communicate the information through command, practice, reciprocal, self-check and inclusive type sessions and lessons. But also it's very important for us as educators to make sure we, we get the information across so we can understand our learners and as instructors or coaches that we can relate to and be able to relay information to all the different ways in which people learn. And you can deal with the pragmatist, the theorist, the activist, and in the simple terms, that translates into basically watchers, doers, thinkers, listeners, and feelers. And we try to educate the instructors that we're training through the IAD system to understand the ways of communicating our information, but obviously how the learner will gather the information as well. Okay, so IAZ's core skier development, this is the logical progression of a, of a skier, we'll begin with the very first phase would be introductory activities, putting the equipment on, moving around, and then we start sliding. And when we're sliding, we're developing the, uh, the balancing and the posture movements. Obviously, movements has to come in there as well. Once we've got the skiers balanced, it's then uh, possible that we can start to get some kind of ploughing involved, so the skiers can start to make a bit of a V-shape with their skis. Obviously, as soon as they're doing that, beginning to use the steering elements already, they're using a bit of rotary, there's a bit of edge in there, and that resistance can be recognised as pressure. Once the skiers can create a plough, and they're quite robust with that, we can then start to deviate with that plough, and make what we call little wiggles, really, and then that develops into turns as we start to focus more on the steering elements and get the skiers to make a more rounded curve, control their speed. That, of course, allows us to start to creep a little bit further up, slightly more challenging terrain, and we start developing plow turns over longer, steeper slopes and making the adjustments that would come with that. After a bit of practice, those will have different journey times depending on where they are. We will develop into the plow paralleling phase where there's a bit of plowing, obviously, and a bit of paralleling. And what happens in this phase is the balance between the two changes as the skier develops. So that's to say in the early plow parallel phase, there is more plow than parallel. And as the skier develops, obviously, we begin to see more parallel than plow. Eventually, when the skiers are well balanced, their movements are well coordinated, they can balance early on the new turning ski, we start to see the skis turning parallel in the basic form, and we start to enter the basic paralleling and paralleling phases. 